All right, so I am going to try recording some VR connected to the ROG Ally uh, with AIM, um, Kayak VR. I had it running decently. So here I am connected to the ROG Ally. But I had the game running decently, and then after that, it kind of stopped running decently. So I'm, I've rebooted the headset, and hopefully I can get it to run properly again. So let's see if it works. We have the game is launching uh, from Steam. The performance here is okay. It's a little stuttery. It's like little. It's not the frame rate isn't perfect, but it is workable right now. Um, my ROG Ally is plugged in and set to turbo mode, or it should be. That may that maybe that was the reason that uh, it was performing poorly before was the maybe it set itself to something else. <laughs> and here we are, and yeah, the performance seems to be workable. <laughs> Not perfect, but. Yeah, this is actually quite doable. You might need to reboot uh, after playing it if you want to play again, but so far, this is actually working. And it's, uh, it's doable. It's not going to rival my gaming PC, but I didn't expect it to. I didn't expect it to be this good, so... Uh, let me go ahead and do my favorite one is uh, free roam and we do at sunset all right so let's see what happens <laughs> Because when when it was performing well, I only uh, I believe I only got into the menu. So, but you know, before in the menu, before I rebooted, it was crap. <laughs> so let's see. It does take a little while loading. This is on the SSD. <laughs> also, we're recording while while we're doing this. It may cause performance issues with the headset, so it may lower the frame rate a little bit. Huh. Ah, there we go. I also lowered the frame rate of the recording to try to uh, take some stress off the actual headset. And this is working fairly well. It's hard to believe that this is coming from the ROG Ally, a little handheld. So, not a bad experience. Uh, this would be okay if you were, um, if you're maybe taking something with you to play some PC VR, and maybe okay as something to use to play PC VR games if you just have this, but definitely not competing with you know PlayStation 5 or a gaming PC or whatever 
This is over AirLink. By this is completely Wi-Fi. Um, there's no Ethernet or anything like that. So I'm doing all this over Wi-Fi using uh, AirLink, not virtual desktop. Although virtual desktop looks better normally without with less compression artifacts. But this is integrated graphics on a handheld device. Quite impressive. Also, apparently you can run things like Half-Life Alex on here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. So and I've been loving my ROG Ally. Luckily I've had no issues with it whatsoever. No SD card failures or uh, you know, knock on wood. So that is that. Uh, I've been loving this thing for, you know, not. I wasn't actually planning on doing VR, but I wanted to try it. So I'm probably gonna uninstall all this uh, once I'm done because this was just for YouTube mostly. Um, I have all the VR stuff set up on my main PC, and that works like perfectly fine. So out of bounds. But if you wanted to do this, you could. Obviously, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> um, and uh, you could play things like Half-Life Alex at an acceptable frame rate. You can play things like this, uh, whether you do it through AirLink or virtual desktop. It will tell you that your, your device doesn't meet minimum spe uh, specifications in the Oculus app, but that doesn't really matter. It will run. And, uh, I would hook the device up to some kind of power, at the least some kind of power bank or something, because this isn't going to run for very long without uh, your device just dropping dead on you. Let's see if we can hit this bird. No, too far away. You can kill the penguins in this. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, there's penguins in the game, and you can bitch slap them and knock them out. Uh, and then PETA will come and have you arrested. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually really cool. Uh, you know, I could forget about the frame rate and just keep playing this uh, on the ROG Ally, so... quite cool to see this on integrated graphics when VR came, first came out you needed a really, really expensive gaming PC to run it to run this stuff and, you know now you can run it from integrated graphics so that's cool Oh, and one thing I was about to start talking about was this this morning. I was using the R ROG Ally to emulate PlayStation 3. I was playing Wipeout HD, God of War 3, and it was running fairly good. <laughs> uh, ran um, Wipeout HD at upwards of, or max was over 100 frames per second at 1080p uh, <laughs> although it did dip it wasn't uh, always at a, over 100 it, it did dip below 60 FPS I believe I don't know if that fitness tracker thing blocked me from talking <laughs> I gotta stop the fitness tracker thingy but uh, yeah, I was playing PlayStation 3 at over 100 FPS, but it did go beneath uh, 60. But it never looked like it did because of the VRR. That just worked really well. And, uh, yeah. So this is really cool. I could honestly do this all day until my arms fell off, but... This is, uh, yeah, this is it. This is, I'm having no problems here. Uh, I'm not getting sick or anything like that. Uh, this is looking nice. Um, 
and you could basically take this, put it in a bag, and uh, play some PC VR. Um, you can take it with you. Oh. <laughs> and while this, uh, uh, while I was playing, apparently we have frozen. So, you know, something like this may actually occur while you're playing. So this is why you might want to get something a little bit better, but eh, it's possible. Now I gotta fix this, so thank you for watching, and have a good one.